Thank you, Rachel. Hi, everyone. So yeah, this is my, uh, I think, fourth collaboration workshop. Uh, in my third online and I'm actually in Belgium right now so I'm trying to limit my international work travel to like once a year and that's actually I'm really happy that we're back online uh, again uh, I know others may differ but the whole thinking for me there is that I mean it was observed a lot what during COVID that, that travel brings a huge environmental uh, footprint and therefore you know if we can go online we can be greener and that's really what I wanted to highlight here which is a project that we've been working on um, to try and answer that in a quite quantitative way uh, and compare online to in person um, and the idea here is if we can make that a quantitative decision um, uh, answer, then we can empower decisions to try and reduce the, the movement um, uh, as we come back to being able to travel, you know, think this carefully. And so we started with a case study. I can see the timer, but I think it started at one minute. So I'm hoping I can keep going for another. <laughs> um, but uh, we started with a case study at, at the UN of taking 200 people uh, for a typical meeting there flying from around the world. And we know that in person, they would produce about 371 tons of CO2. And if we did that online, our model was sort of saying between 2.4 to 13 tons. So conservatively, it's at least 96% less CO2 if you can do it online in that case. And we wanted to turn that into a, a functioning calculator that can be worked for, for each event, um, for specific users and so on. We've built this as an open source project. And I would really love, given the community here and given that, you know, uh, that, that emphasis on sustainability that, that some people get involved, um, and so behind the scenes, this is an extremely adaptable model. It can do real-time calculations. It can plug in different components to really cover the full spectrum of the events. We want to include you know, the embedded emissions in your laptop, think about the power of the servers and where they're located and so on. And then against that model, we've built the first uh, sort of prototype interface. It's definitely incomplete. It's definitely quite crude, but it does work. And the goal there is to be quite simple, um, generate some debate, intrigue people and so on. So you can try that out now, scan the QR code. There's a link at the, at the top uh, and there's the GitHub repository if you are interested. Uh, and then lastly, we've got one other piece of the puzzle. Uh, for this, it's not just the calculator, there's a few other things and the other piece we'll be trying out later on with the social event. Uh, so I'm very excited to, to get, get feedback, get some interest and uh, feel free to get in touch.